I just don't think they're flattering and I don't like them one bit. For today's video, I have a jeans review and I have my jeans right over here. Hi guys and welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Elise and I make weekly videos and sometimes twice a week about fashion and lifestyle. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as it does help my channel as well as subscribing if you do like my videos and you watch them. I am really trying to grow my channel this year. My goal is to reach my first thousand by my birthday, which is in June, so I would really appreciate if you help me reach that goal. As always, I'll leave my own body measurements down below in case you have similar body type and you want to take a look for references. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and without further ado, let's jump right to it. <laughs> I will be going over size and measurements, material and fit. If you are a denim person and have some knowledge about denims and how they work, you might know this already, but just in case you don't, I'm going to go briefly over some terminology. The size on the jeans usually refers to the measurements of the waist all the way around. The jeans can be either button fly or zipper fly. <laughs> and that just means that when you put your jeans on and you close them to button them, they can either have five buttons instead of a zipper or a zipper and a button. The inseam refers to the distance between the crotch and the foot. I myself prefer a 28 to 29 inseam for the colder months, but for the warmer months, I do not mind going to a 26 or 27, but 26 is the shortest that I would go just because I do not like my denim super crop. The leg opening refers to how wide the jeans are on the leg. A skinny jean, for example, will have a much smaller leg opening than a straight jeans or wide leg jeans would. The rise refers to how the waist part of the jeans hit you. Usually a low rise will hit you way below your belly button. A mid rise will hit you right below your belly button or at your belly button and a high rise will hit you above your belly button. Though this depends on your body type and whether you have a short, mid or long torso. I myself have a mid to long torso. So a mid rise on me may well be a high rise on you. In this video, I'll be talking about four different styles of a Goldie. The first one are the Rileys, the Balloom, the 90s, and the 90s Pinch Waist. The material in which all four jeans are made is 100% cotton, which means there is zero stretch to them. I normally wear size 24 and 25. I got three out of the four in size 25 and one pair in size 24. The first pair I have are the Rileys. They are button fly. The rise on these ones are 11.5. In seam is 26. The leg opening is 14 inches and these are supposed to be high rise straight crop. And as I said previously, there is no stretch on these jeans. For the Rileys, I got a size 25. I think they fit me pretty good. I wouldn't size up or down. The waist is a little big on me as most jeans are. I do have 13 inches difference between my waist and my hips. So most jeans will fit me with a gap on the waist. However, the gap on the waist is not as big as it is in some other jeans that I will later show you. <laughs> it is very stiff as it is, like I mentioned, 100% cotton, so there is no stretch to it, which is something I actually prefer on my denim. I love the fit of a cotton material denim and I just think that it lasts me longer and it wouldn't stretch out as much over time. Though there is no stretch on the denim, I still think they are a comfortable fit. They are fitted all the way throughout. That's just the style of the denim. And I love that they are straight all the way down. These fit my body as a meat rise. These do have some stressing going on. They have some on the front pockets, on the leg. They have a very little one on the back pockets. 
in some at the bottom of the jeans or the hem I think you call it <laughs> if you do like this dress jean but you wanted something more subtle I think this is a really good option for that The next pair of jeans I have are the Bloom jeans. I got it on size 25. These are zipper fly. The rise is 13 and a quarter. The inseam is 27. The leg open is 14 and a quarter. And these are supposed to fit ultra high rise curb taper. And again, there's zero stretch to this denim. They almost don't feel like they are 100% cotton and then that there's not stretch on them. But I think it's because they are very loose on the leg and because they're loose, they are very comfortable. There is very minimal distress on them. There's a little bit on the front pocket and then there is a little bit on the back pockets and a tiny bit at the bottom of the leg or the hem. <laughs> Because of the styles of these jeans and because they are the ones that go the highest on the rise, they fit extremely big on my waist. And though sometimes I don't mind them to be a little loose on the waist, however, the gap is ginormous and I feel like the pants will literally fall on me if I were to keep this size. So if I did keep this one, I'll definitely have to size down at least one size and perhaps wear a belt too. I think this is a very comfortable pair of jeans and because there's not a lot of stressing going on, I think it makes it more versatile. However, because of the style of them and they are super volumin, meaning the leg area is very wide and so you have to have a specific body type and love the style for this to work for you. The next pair I have are the 90s. These I got in size 25. They are button fly. The rise is 11 and a half. The inseam is 29 inches. The leg opening is 16 and the fit is supposed to be a mid-rise loose fit. And again, there's no stretch on this denim as they are 100% cotton. These jeans are giving me a the show friends from the 90s vibe because they are indeed that 90s style that you see in that show or any shows from the 90s. But I really like how comfortable they are. They are supposed to fit in the relaxed side. But because I am in the curvy side and my widest part is below my waist, they fit a little tight on the hips and behind area. So if I wanted a looser fit than this, I will have to size up. But if I do size up, the waist is just going to be ginormous. So... If I were to keep this pair, I would have to keep this size or size up and take it in for the waist. Because they are in the looser side, they are very comfortable and because there's not distressing on it, there is a very microscopic, tiny little bit of distressing just by the edge of the front pocket, but you can barely see it. You really have to look really close to see it. So because of that, I think these are a more classic and versatile style that can be your everyday jeans if you're into that style. The rise is a mid to high rise on me and the length hits me at the ankle because it is a 29 inseam. It is a beautiful versatile blue color which it will look good in any season of the year. The next and last pair I have are the 90s pinch waist. So this is a similar fit to the one that I just talked about, but these, they come in a little tighter or smaller on the waist. These are button fly. The rise on them is 12 and 3 quarters. The length is 29 and a half. The leg opening is 15 and 3 quarters. And again, there's zero stretch on this denim. I did size down on this one. I got a size 24. 
and these are supposed to fit high rise straight. This, similar to the last pair I just show, has very minimal the stretch at the edge of the front pocket as well as on the back of them, which makes them very versatile and wearable if you're looking for an everyday classy pair of denim on these are also a beautiful blue that can be worn all year round. They seem it is a little long on me but I do not mind. If I do want them shorter later on I can take them in and have them crop. I do find a little tight on the hips but I did size down on these ones so I tried size 25 on the previous one and this one size 24. I cut size up on this one just to have a little more room on the hips area however if I do then I'll have a gap on the waist which I'm trying not to have as much gap on the waist so I don't have to take them in and I think that they fit really comfortable on the waist right now there's a very minimal gap on it for those date nights or night outs with friends that I still want to eat and still feel comfortable without having to unbutton my pants so this will be great but the gap again compared to the previous one the gap on the waist is much smaller i still think if i go for a size 25 the gap on the waist will still be much smaller than the previous one i hope all that makes sense <laughs> So which style I'm going to keep, in which style I think it's best for my body type or a different body type than mine. Starting with the Riley, I think this is a very good pair of denim. I do not love the wash though, I rather have a darker wash even for the warmer months, that's just how I prefer it. I am not a big fan of distressing and though the distressing on this one is not huge, there's still a lot of distressing for my liking. Though I don't think it's a bad fit, I just don't think it's the best fit for my body type. I don't think it complements it as much as other style of a Goldies. However, if you do have a different body type than mine, are more a straighter body type and are into distressing, I think this is a great option for you and you should give it a try. For the balloon, I think I already mentioned this earlier, but the first thing when I put them on that I noticed is how wide the leg is. And I know they are supposed to fit like that because they are balloon fit however i do have a different balloon fit from a different brand and i love those i do not think i was gonna like them as much but i do love those and when i bought this i was thinking it was gonna be a similar fit but this is just a very exaggerated balloon fit which i'm not a big fan of i just don't think they are versatile enough and an everyday type of jeans which is what i'm looking for Honestly, I cannot think of a body type where this jeans will fit good or flattering. I guess you just have to try. Maybe I just don't think they look good on me. And maybe you have a similar body type as me and you try it on and you like it. It's all about perspective. I just don't think they're flattering and I don't like them one bit. <laughs> so this for sure will be going back. For the 90s, I absolutely love these jeans. So how comfortable they are. The shade of blue that they come in. That they are in the relaxed side. Though the waist is just very, very big. And if I were to keep it, I'll have to take it in. But I do love how minimal distressing they have on them. Which makes them very classic and versatile and it's more of the look that I'm looking for. This is a fit that I think will fit any body type honestly. If you are looking for a pair of really comfortable nighted fit jeans, I absolutely recommend these ones. If you do have a similar body type to me, then just be aware that you might have to wear a belt or take it in. But either way, this is a really good pair. I think that because of the style of these jeans, depending on the fit that you're looking for, you might want to size down or up. Just know that they do fit in the looser side. They don't fit on me as loose on the hips area because of my body type, so just be aware. 
And lastly, if you haven't guessed yet, I am keeping these ones. These are the nighty pinch waist. I just love the rise on them. They're super high rise. The waist, though it's fitted, it's not uncomfortable, so I can still squeeze in a meal and still <laughs> keep my pants bun up. I just love the overall fit, the color, the rise, the inseam. I just think they are an amazing pair and if you have a similar body type to mine you definitely should try these ones because they are so flattering in my experience denim do loosen up over time and because i want a fitted type of look then if they stretch just a little bit more then i'll be fine so i am not sizing up i am keeping my size 24 and i plan to break them in I absolutely love this pair and I think I'm gonna be giving it a lot of wear because I've been looking for something like this for a while. I think it's just so worth it. I absolutely love it and nothing beats the feeling of finding a pair of denim that makes you feel like a million bucks. If you have a similar body type as mine where your waist is much smaller compared to your hips, I definitely recommend the pinch waist though they both are a great fit. The 90s jean are very big on the waist compared to the pinch waist. So those will be really loose unless you don't mind the big gap and you either want to wear a belt or want to take those in to be fixed. But if you want a more fitted look, especially on the waist, I would go for the 90s pinch waist, which is the one I am going for. Either way, I love both pairs and I think that it will be a great asset to anybody's wardrobe for an everyday look, for dressing them down or up. It's such a versatile and chic look style. Regardless of your body type, you'll be able to rock and feel your best as you should. And that is all I have for today's video. I hope you liked. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you watch my videos, please subscribe and help me reach that goal that I have for my birthday. And if you have any questions, as always, leave it down below. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!